Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the Sunjo SPX 3000 pressure washer. So I got this thing off of Amazon and it's definitely quite reasonably priced. The box is quite large as expected with a pressure washer. So it looks like we have a box in a box and that makes sense for shipping purposes. All right, so here we can see all of the pieces. So I'm just going to grab the pieces out of the box one by one. And so it looks like some kind of brackets and an adapter, the trigger, the high pressure holes and uh, this feels really nice it's like a high quality and it looks like it's up to 2900 psi and by the way this pressure washer i think is about 2000 all right so we got the nozzle tips five of them all right so this looks like our upper portion with the reservoirs that hold the chemicals very interesting how they got two of them and it looks like they're controlled by knob here i guess more and less oh, that's quite interesting it's nice that there's two separate ones because you can have two different cleaning solutions. All right, so here we have the hard tip part of the spray nozzle. Very nice quality. Looks like brass fittings. This is where our tips will click in. And then this part looks like connects to the trigger. And last but not least, we got the pressure washer itself. All right, so that's everything for the box. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, it's packed very well. Double boxed and even though it was delivered, everything came in safe. So yeah, this is quite a nice looking machine. So I got the black version. They also have, I think, a green one. And it's actually like this dark gray, which I definitely prefer over the green. Very nice, large feet here. And they are rubber coated, so it's like a hard rubber. So they're not like a plasticky wheel. So when you roll it, it's not gonna be making all this crazy noise. So over here in the back, it looks like that's the output pressure where our hose is gonna connect. And then here in the front looks like we have the water inlet port and there's like a little plastic hard filter. I guess that grabs bigger things just in case so it doesn't go into the pump and that stays in there. So the other side just has a power cord that comes out and the cord definitely appears to be quite long. Looks like about 30 feet or so. And the plug itself is uh, I guess GFI protected for extra safety. Alright so here we do have the instruction manual looks like. And there's some hardware on there. So here we have a registration card. If you want to register your pressure washer, that might help for warranty reasons. Quite a few booklets here, and they look like they're in different languages. So here we have the English one. So it is 2000 PSI at 1.76 gallons per minute max. So this is a nice little page. It says know your electric pressure washer. This kind of shows you what everything is and what it's called. And then we have technical data here. Voltage, amperage, there's the maximum flow, there's the rated flow. So yeah, those are quite different. That's the maximums and the typical is 1450 at 1.24 gallons per minute. So realistically, this is what you're getting. So the high pressure hose is 20 feet long and the power cord is 35 feet long. So that's quite nice. And the overall weight is 23.4 pounds. All right, here we have the assembly instructions and it looks like they're mostly pictured here with some descriptions. So let's go ahead and put this thing together. All right, so the first step, I guess it looks like we got to install some bracket here. This one right here. So here on the front, looks like right here, should just slide right in there. Just like that. So for the next part, we're going to install the handle with the bottles part and that should just slide in from the front. And there we go. And in the back, you guys can see there are one, two, three, four holes that these screws will go in and that'll permanently mount the handle to the body. So for this, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver about this long. So a screwdriver about that long should work. And you definitely want to note that there are four of the larger ones and two smaller ones. So you want to use the four larger screws. All right, so the handle's on, really strong. So naturally, I think the next part is we need to plug this hose in right down here. And that's actually going to this knob here. And I realized that actually the way you select between which chemical you want is zero is basically nothing. And then if you move this way, you'll start drawing out of this one. So the more you go, the more suction there is. And so pull it out. And if you want the chemicals from here, you go to this side. Pretty cool. And plugging in the hose was the next step. So here is showing us the way we need to clip the bottles in. So they just clip under the slip here. So they're going to come in like this and then clip under here. You can kind of see and that's how they're held. All right, so then we got more pictures of clipping in. And I think that's where we put our hose in, actually. So let's go to this figure eight here. Appears to be this trim here. And it goes right over here. And just like that. So you insert it in here into the tab. And then right here we're going to put one of the two small screws we have. 
So for the last bracket, we have this one here, and it just goes right in the front, right there, just like that. And then there's a hole in here, and that's where our last screw will go. And that's it. That's pretty much all the assembly to the pressure washer itself. The rest looks like we got to put the trigger gun together, install the holes, and then to the front here, we need to install this guy here. And it should be quite simple also. We can actually do that right now. And this can all be hand tightened, so, so our holes will connect here. So and the rest is pretty, you know, common sense here. We have the on and off right here. Pretty big button or knob, and that's it. So let's go ahead and put this trigger together. Actually quite a nice looking trigger. It does have a safety here that flips out and goes down so you can't push it. So you know if you want to lock it in, it does do that. So we gotta take this hard pipe and we gotta thread it into this end. So then we're just gonna spin this. This is the whole nut, and that's gonna tighten it. So if you wanted to, you could, you know, snug this up, but it doesn't have to be crazy tight. The gasket in there is what's doing most of the work. So yeah, guys, pretty much, I mean, it's quite a simple assembly. So let's check out our nozzles here. So we have a zero, which is, you know, going to be quite brutal. So be careful when using this one. And then we have the 15%. This one probably will be used a lot. And then the 25, also a lot. And then we got a 40, which is, you know, quite a wide spread. And then we have the soap. And this is the one you're going to put on to distribute whatever is in these bottles here. So these nozzle tips actually have a place where they live right here on the back of the machine on the handle. So they just simply clip in there just like that. That way they're all nicely organized. So that's a nice feature there. And the trigger gun sits right in here just like that. So the last thing we got left here is to install the hose, the high pressure hose. And it doesn't really matter which end you use, they're both identical at the ends. So what you want to do is you want to insert it, kind of wiggling it around. That way the rubber gasket goes in there straight. So once you start it up, then we can tighten it just like that. Should be good right there. And the other end will go in here. But before I put it in there, I'm going to unwind this hose because I want it to be straight. And same thing here. I wiggle it in there. And then we're going to tighten it up. And you want to be really careful about cross-threading and everything. If it's not going, don't force it. Make sure you line it all up right. It all should just go real easy. And just like that, we are connected. So yeah, this is what 20 feet of hose looks like. It's not very long, but it's, you know, a decent amount. So the good part is the power is quite long. And I do have quite a long hose there, so we should be able to reach quite easily and get all this. So I'm going to go ahead and unwind that and then get our hose on here. And by the way guys, on the back of the manual, you can see there's a little pin here, or a little needle, and that's for cleaning out the nozzle, so it's kind of interesting that's where it was at. Alright, so I got the power plugged in, I got the hose connected, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open the water to it, so it starts feeding it. And before you do anything else, you want to run the water through the whole system without a tip. And the reason you want to do that is you want to make sure any kind of dust or anything is out, and just get the air out mostly. And you can kind of hear it. Right, there it goes. Looks like there was some kind of white stuff that came out of there. So, And it helps, you know, prime the whole system. That way, whenever we turn this thing on, the pump is going to be full of water. All right, so let's be safe and start off with the 25. So putting the nozzle on is quite simple. You just pull on this ring, and then you snap the nozzle in. And to take it out, the same way, you pull on it. You do need to put a little pressure on the nozzle, and then pull the retaining ring down. All right, so let's flip it to on. So once it builds the pressure, automatically turns off, and then as you know, you use it, it'll start running again. All right, let's see what this thing has. Wow, that's pretty good pressure. You guys can hear the pump. It's not super loud, but it definitely you know has a noise to it. But the pressure is quite strong because it's pushing me back, so pretty good. All right, so I'm pretty excited to get all this tile cleaned up.
So things are going very well and the pressure washer seems to be having plenty of power to wash off basic grime off of this tile here. So, so you guys can see the difference here. I'm gonna spray it some more. So yeah guys, overall it's turning out very well. And we can see here between the clean and the unclean over there. So it's quite a difference, but you know, this is right under this palm tree. So this is quite a bit more dirty than other places. Overall, I've been using this thing nonstop for, I don't know, about three, four hours at a time. And it's doing very well. So I cleaned all of this and then all of this deck here. So that was a lot of pressure washing. And then all these steps here, it turned out very nice. So I haven't got a chance to use these dispensers and I don't really need them for this project. But I feel like they'd be great for other things. Maybe even like washing your car you can put two different kind of solutions in there for let's say the paint and then maybe for like wheels or under the car or like a degreaser or something. Overall it's performing much better than I thought it would. I'm definitely happy that it's not overheating or turning me off even using it continuous like this. And the pressure is quite adequate and it's not too loud either so. Seems like a really good machine overall and I'm definitely happy with this purchase. So I do have a little bit more to clean all over there. So I mostly use the 15%. The zero here I did use pressure washing something far away kind of like five, six, eight feet away and it does a great job for that. And it's much stronger than expected. So, so I definitely love how these tips are all separate and you can change it to what you need. So a huge thumbs up for this thing. I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a pressure washer. Alright guys, well if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And also if you want to pick up the Sun Gel for yourself, I'll leave some links in the description. So check that out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next. Peace.